An NHL season is 82 games long, spread out over roughly six months. That comes to approximately 183 days, or 4,390 hours. Put all together, they tell a story. Last June, Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins scored the winning goal in the Stanley Cup final. On December 28th, his team played their 34th game of this season. The story of how Bergeron spent the 36 hours leading up to the final horn is next on NHL 36. For 26-year-old Patrice Bergeron, preparing for a hockey game is about routine. He stretches. He dresses. He walks out of the locker room. And he waits. All part of his routine. The Bruins he plays the game alongside are also familiar. Number 63, Brad Marchand, and number 19, Tyler Sagan. Since late October, they formed a line together for the team, helping Boston return to the top of the Eastern Conference. A season after delivering the club's first Stanley Cup in four decades. That, of course, was all six months ago. And two days ago in Boston, when the Bruins set out on the trip to Phoenix, the Stanley Cup might have seemed an even more distant memory. Considering the undesirable way the current season began for Bergeron and his teammates. A 3-2 win for the Hurricanes tonight. And the Bruins now one and three out of the gates. We were still in the games, but we weren't playing our game. You know, it doesn't matter if you won the year before, uh, you're not going to get to the playoffs just because, you know, you're the defending champ. And the Bruins have lost seven of the first ten games of the season. We're the defending champs, and last year when I was playing Chicago with that one last year, I wanted to be them. You know, I was ready for that game, so I know all the teams are doing the same thing against us. So right now it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We're in Boston, so we're actually on the way to the airport. Uh, to fly out to, uh, to Phoenix. Air travel is a constant of life as a hockey player, and with a five-hour flight in store, Bergeron and his teammates like to be well-prepared. A little TV show or something? <laughs> what do you got? Movie? Oh, movies? Yeah, I got uh, five movies. Me and uh, Daniel Paye will always sit together. Um, we we'll always watch movies or TV shows. Oh, I want to watch that. Yeah. Watch that? Okay. When there's no movies to watch, we try to rent some uh, TV shows. You know, it's just a little hobby that we've been doing since uh, since we've been playing together. Okay. You want to start? Sure, man. Let's do it. Let's get it going. We finished the, the first two seasons of Modern Family, and we just crushed it. The members of the Bruins family spend their time in the air in all different ways. And while his line mates play cards, Bergeron partners with Daniel Paye in their usual routine. Hey, my brother just texted me and just read online that I'm doing the show. He's like, what are you going to say for 36 hours? <laughs> Eventually, screening gives way to a restful break. And then the Phoenix skyline comes into view. With game 28 of the season approaching for the Bruins and their star forward. Bergeron is the best defensive player at forward in the National Hockey League. One of our hardest working guys uh, every game, every night. He finds the power to get up the ice. Always seems to have a stick in the right place. Bergeron passes it off. 
The team heads straight from the airport to practice at the Coyotes Arena. But when Bergeron arrives, he encounters a suspicious problem. Like, honestly, right now, my equipment's not there. Oh, we get some pranks that go on once in a while. Some of them did it, too. So I was just walking around, and I was like asking everyone, asking the trainers where my bag was, or where my bag go, and no one knew. I don't know if Bergie's one of the guys that really gets pranked. Where'd you put my bag? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is. Your bag? She's got two bags. right here. What's that? Oh, someone did it for me. And Ferris is like, your, your equipment's right here, like. Hey, it's already unpacked and hanging. I guess someone did it for me. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, yeah, right. Everybody else unpacked it. <laughs> but I don't prank anyone either, so that's probably why I don't get pranked. Beats. Thanks, bud. You went back. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Also here in Phoenix, NHL 36, the show for NBC Sports Network. Cameras are all over here. Are you self-conscious yet? Yeah, it's probably going to be a show about uh, six hours of me being doing something and then 30 hours of me <laughs> sleeping. So, uh, you know, it's going to be hard for them to get some footage. So, do you want to talk? you want to talk? Uh, you don't need any sticks. Usually you talk to me. No, not today. Oh, it sucks. No friends, man. Come sit with me. <laughs> Someone. If the cameras have sent some of Patrice Bergeron's teammates into retreat... Nice circle here, boys. I'm all alone here. A poorly placed piping system has threatened to put an early end to the one way he's gotten them to play along before practice starts. Oh, boy. You're allowed to touch. The ball touches the ground. You're out until the last guy stands and uh, he wins the game. Be sharp, be sharp, Hordy. You're sick, man, you're the best. For Bergeron, the team's alternate captain, practice is not just for staying sharp with a stick, but for helping to set a tone for every player in a Bruin jersey. Free fresh here. Probably one of our hardest working players in the team, and uh, being a young guy myself, I can really you know, notice that and you know look up to that. They're never far apart on the ice. 19, 63, and the line's senior and most vocal member... That's Chris Cross, eh? Number 37. I guess not. It's about leading by example. When it's time to step up and talk, uh, I'm trying to do that as well. Sick move, Marshy. Sick! Oh, sick, Joe. Nice pass sides. So I decided to involve you in the play. All right. Better today, boys, than tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be fine. After their slow start, the Bruins didn't appear fine. But then came most recently the six-game streak they've brought into Phoenix. Comes up with a puck, throws it right to the dot, fires and scores! Closes past the dot right in front, he scores! Highlights like these are born in arenas far from home, where countless shots are taken, but more critically, Teams come together. Road trips can be called the grind, but I think that's where really we have the most fun. I mean, when you're with the boys every day. You look, you look extra good today. Hi, what? You look, good good. Good. Like, you look like you got a cut. And I didn't get a haircut. I got it before uh, uh, Christmas. 637. On the road, we always go for dinner. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be a steakhouse. With a couple guys for their nice little meal. We got our, our little liney here, number 63. Brad Marchand. First star of the week. <laughs> Dinner's on him today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's official. Dennis Seidenberg doesn't want to be on camera at all, but he came to dinner with four cameras. So <laughs> we got Daniel Paye, my buddy on the plane. Watched, watched, watched so many movies together. And then we got the kid of the team here, number 19. Everyone wants a piece of him. 
Sal Sagan. <laughs> Me and Marshy always have to talk about him, how good he is, how great he is. Chris <laughs> Bergeron, our leader, our captain. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> captain. <laughs> You're with the boys every day of your your season, so you kind of almost miss them after a couple of days, and you're coming back and hugging the boys. And uh, uh, I think, you know, that's why road trips are great. A long day ends quietly, with some parting words in the hotel lobby, and then a silent walk down the hall to tonight's quarters. Come back from dinner. I was pretty tired. It was a long trip, you know, six hours and then practice. Most often than not, they'll just uh, watch the TV. You know, we're fans also, you know, we watch uh, the highlights and we, we, we keep track of what's been happening, uh, you know, throughout the league. Face off for the next test on the ice is now less than 24 hours away. It's game day morning in the desert, and Patrice Bergeron and the Bruins convene for breakfast in their hotel. Why is he sitting here, huh? Mm -hmm. There's crumbs and muffins everywhere. Hey, buddy. Finland, US, and Canada? They're in the same pool, or what? Yeah, I think USA plays Finland today. Afterwards, the team heads back to their opponent's arena for a film review in the visiting locker room. The one thing we're going to need tonight is we're going to need speed on our breakout. So make sure they're going to push, expect to push up the ice at points. So we've got to hustle everybody back. We want to make sure that we're all coming together so we get speed in our breakout. If we've got speed, we'll get to the puck first. Expect pressure tonight. We want to beat the pressure. So make sure we use the speed to beat it on the breakouts. And when we get in initially, outnumber them and be prepared to spray them out. Once we get them stopped, we're good. But we've got to get to that point. With the message imparted, Bergeron and his teammates head to the ice for the morning skate, a chance to further acclimate themselves with the ring. Find the ice a little better than yesterday? Yeah. I think so too. Uh, Hansel's out, he's a lefty anyways. So... Uh, our schedule isn't getting any easier uh, from here on in. As you know, we're gonna be on the road a lot more. We're gonna have some challenging games here so we can look at the last two months and, and see how good we've been or we can look ahead at these next two months and, and see how challenging it is instead of looking back so we need to look forward here and then take that challenge that's ahead of us if many hockey players seem to collect superstitions Bergeron claims he's not among them I don't have any superstitions but I do have some uh, uh, I guess routines before games, I always do the same thing. I always take three sticks in front of my stall, making the same tape job every time. I always put some thin black tape on my blade and white for my knob on, on top of my stick. I'll put my water at the same spot all the time. Always in line on the right side of my stall. It's been the same thing since uh, uh, midget, you know, since I've been 16 years old. For Bergeron and his line mates, the routines commence. Colors donned that further confirm their singular purpose and maintain the momentum they've worked to build over the past two months. This is not a game I would recommend that we look to be fancy more than we need to be effective here. It's a road game. This is a team we're playing tonight that's a point out of the playoff spot right now. So this means a lot to them. If we got everybody going, we got a chance of winning this hockey game here. With many Bruins fans among them, Bergeron takes the game's opening faceoff. Before his line gives way to the first shift change of the night. Where can you guys are going to go here when they, uh, for the face-off eight? Eh? All three of you guys. Not ice here, eh, guys? So make sure we end left puck. Got to do it quick, and it's there. David Krejci, a wrist shot, and he scores. 
the Bruins on the board first. That's it, boys. Let's go. Hey, these are sneaking right by us. Behind you. Twice. Let's get it in here, guys. Good try, good try. My bad. They're not liking the physical game, boys. Keep playing them hard. It got blocked, it was just coming slowly. I tried to get it, and uh, the other guy pull checked me. I think it comes like this. Yeah, and I go. Come across. March is here. Yeah. It's a set breakout. We want you going. I know. Yeah. yeah. But now the middle's wide open. Change here. Good job. Stay with it, stay with it. Next shift doors, let's go. The third period of Bruins Coyotes starts with the score tied, 1-1. And Patrice Bergeron energizing his teammates every chance he can get. Come on, Zing, man. Let's go, bud. First and puck everywhere, everywhere. Let's go. Let's go, bro. First and puck. Let's go, eh? First and puck everywhere, everywhere. Third D's coming out, our forward. And then our forward's going that way. We can get the puck every time. Sonny! While Bergeron regroups, the Coyotes' Rafi Torres skates off the ice with a painful looking reminder of what the game can bring. When the clock starts ticking down, the Bruins look to take every shot they can. Throw everything at the net, boys. Start throwing everything at the net here. Come on, that should have been ours, boys. Go, play, go, 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 go. Skate, 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 skate. With three periods complete and the score tied, the Bruins now must head to extra time to get what they came for. I think a loss would be, uh, you know, it'd be pretty tough for our team. We've had a, a good role here lately. The important part for our team is playing a full 60. Um, we've done a good job at it the last few games, and that's uh, what we want to do. Uh, we approach every game, uh, and to win it every night is going to be our tough night, but we've got to make sure we go out there and we, uh, we expect uh, uh, to come out with, with a win. sluggishness or the sloppiness or whatever word you want to put in there for it. I mean, it's it's been that way for the Bruins here today. They've been off. And now Rich Jaffer from Seidenberg and he scores! Yeah. It rolls through the Barbara. Dennis Seidenberg will get the overtime game winner. team 
together on the road and things are going well, um, the next day is a better day, obviously, for you. Great job, too. Say a second one. The 2 1 win is the Bruins' seventh in a row. A less than perfect showing, but one the team is happy to take. Good, good job tonight. I thought we did a, did a hell of a job in the third period. We came back and we got better as the game went on. Obviously, had some uh, neutral zone issues there, but I thought we uh, handled those a lot better in the third period. So uh, we played to win and it showed uh, we were a much better team. So. Great depth, you know, uh, throughout uh, our dual lineup. It's been helping us a lot, you know. Uh, Every line is picking up, uh, is picking up on uh, one another and uh, helping the uh, other lines out. And if it's it's not us one 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 night, it's going to be another line. It's been that's been used for us. It's been helping us a lot. And um, you know, can't say enough about that. Thanks, Thank you. Sure. Thank you. For Patrice Bergeron and the Boston Bruins, the season is not yet even half complete. Tonight, number 37 is only too happy to oblige fans who've made their own trip to Phoenix to watch him. And then head into the desert night with his teammates off to their next stop. Another 36 hours in a long season have concluded triumphantly. So many more await.